One of the major predictors of marital quality is a couple's relationship history prior to marriage. However, very few studies of long-term relationships have examined a couple's pre-cohabitation history together. University of Denver research professor and licensed psychologist Galena Rhodes, along with her colleague Scott Stanley, were interested in learning more about how the early stages of a relationship can affect union stability years down the road. In a report for the National Marriage Project, Rhodes and Stanley looked at 418 Americans ages 18 to 34 who married over the course of a five-year relationships development survey. They discovered that individuals who said their relationship with their spouse did not begin as a hookup reported higher marital quality on average than those who said the opposite. Individuals who lived with their partner or future spouse before they had a plan for marriage or before they were engaged also reported less satisfaction in their marriages later on. Many people use their 20s as a time for exploration and discovery. However, Dr. Rhodes suggested that these findings indicate that that might not be the best approach to take. And I think we're seeing the opposite in some ways, that, um, that those experiences probably help you build your ideas of what a long-term relationship will look like. You know, the more experience you have breaking up, the easier it might be to end a marriage later on, too. So I think, I think those, those early relationship experiences matter and set the stage for healthy relationships later on. Of course, none of this is to say that those couples who report low levels of marital quality can't salvage their relationships and go on to have perfectly happy marriages. However, Dr. Rhodes cautions that it's important for those couples to seek counseling and guidance sooner rather than later. I think one of the things that, that we know from research and, and that I've experienced in, in my private practice as well, where I mainly see couples, is that oftentimes people wait too long in relationships to get help. Um, that they wait until they're about to break up or one person is about to file for divorce. And there's actually a lot that couples can learn long before they're distressed. Um, you know, there are good programs available to couples that, that um, you can take as a workshop or, you know, a, a class that you take over a number of weeks. And we know that those kinds of programs tend to be effective, um, even for couples who are relatively happy, even for couples who aren't distressed. To read more of Dr. Rhodes' report, visit nationalmarriageproject.org. You can also find many articles about the various factors that contribute to marital quality on dadsdivorce.com. That'll do it for another edition of Dad's Divorce Live. I'm Sean Garrison, editor of dadsdivorce.com. Thank you for watching.